No trespassing signs are popping up all over one of the most popular beaches in our area, shrinking public access. And, of course, some beachgoers are not happy with that new signage. Our Sarasota County Bureau reporter, Allison Henning, explains why from Siesta Key. This is the popular public beach that brings in visitors year-round. And up until recently, there was no official line separating public from private. But with signs like this one right here, things are starting to change. Signs and flags are popping up all along the country's top-rated beach. The message is clear. Private property do not trespass. Over the last several weeks, more and more Siesta Key condo associations and resorts have started marking off their property lines. Paralegal Michael Barfield says liability is the greatest concern. People do have property rights. They're responsible for any incident that occurs on their property. They can be fined, sued. I think property owners have had enough of the county inviting the public onto their property. Sarasota County only owns a small portion of Siesta Keys beaches, but local vacation rental owner Mike Holderness says they speak for all of it without providing any support. He says this movement isn't about privatizing Siesta Key. It's about making it safer for everyone and taking stress off the backs of private owners. The, the problem is there's no parks and recs rules. So it's very lawless and it's very unmanaged. The deputy's hands are basically tied like if they were in your own backyard. A spokesperson for the county sent aid on your side this statement saying Sarasota County is aware of the situation and is in the process of reviewing the ordinance that governs signage. The paralegal I spoke with hopes to see the county get involved and ultimately come to some sort of a resolution. In the meantime, I am told visitors should expect to see more and more signs like this one popping up over the next few days. On Siesta Key, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.